Today we're going to talk about how to create a combo box that when you need a new value put into it, that you can easily just type in that new value and work through a couple dialog boxes to add that value to the list for future use. Right now, combo boxes, you either put limit to list, or even if you make it updatable, the coding isn't behind it in order to make the actual uh, box be actually updatable. So what I'm going to show you today is how to actually make it updatable. So the form that I wanted to do this on is this script form here. Now, I'll put this in design view so I can show you the particular field that I wanted to work with. And this is the field called setting, okay? So this setting is a combo box, and when I show the property sheet here, if we look at data, it's a value list. It's green screen and bookstore are the two places or, or the two settings that we are going to film in. So one of our videos, uh, of course, has a green screen like it has, like I've got behind me right now, and in a bookstore so that you can uh, so that we could do a story about uh, a bookstore that I happen to write code for at times. So here what we do, though, is when we set this up, we say we're going to limit it to list. Now, what limit to list does is it throws an error. The error could then be trapped, and then you can write a piece of code to then add data to it. So we're going to allow value list edits and limit to list. And so that on the event then, if it's not in list, we've got an event procedure to capture that. And under our event procedure, we go ahead and write some code. And this code is really, all, all it's going to do is, it's gonna grab the new data that we want as a string, and then it's gonna respond back as an integer, okay? And CTRL is a control. Okay, so the control is me.setting. So the name of my control, that drop down box, that combo box is the, it, it's named setting. You're gonna have a message box that says, value's not in the list, do you wanna add it? And it's gonna have it okay or not, or cancel. Okay, it's an okay cancel. And here's the code for the okay and cancel. Then here the response is going to be one or the other. And it's going to capture that response. And then it's going to my control row source equals the row, row source with a semicolon. And then it's going to put, add the new data. Else it's going to say, you know, we're going to undo what the person did if we hit the cancel button. Okay. So let's see how it works. Okay. So here's my list right here. And let's say here I want pasture instead. And pasture. Here, it's on my list, okay? And uh, so instead of pasture, I want to go ahead and say it's going to be in the barn. Next one's gonna be in the barn. When I hit tab out of that, it says, okay, message box, remember that. Values not in the list, add it, sure. Click okay. Uh, then it gives me another error message that says it's not in the list. You wanna edit the items in the list? Sure, I do wanna edit the list. So it adds barn to that list. So what it did is it added that semicolon and new data. And then it gives me that back, that dialog box that says you want to look at the whole list items there. And I can confirm that barn is on the list. I can actually edit the other ones also. I can also say barn should be up, maybe alphabetized. I could change this whole list if I wanted. So let me click OK. And notice barn is now on the list and I can select barn and then I can tab out and I'm done with the record. Now, I want to show you where I got this information so that you can get back to it because this is only one use case that shows how to do this task. If you go to this site right here and what you're looking for is access.comblebox.notInList is the event trap that you want to use. And here it'll tell you all, all the parameters and it'll tell you all the things that you need to do. It'll give you an example. Here's the example I used here of a list. 
and then they give you here of a data set. So several different ways to go about this. So if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll help me grow the channel by hitting the subscribe button. And I sure hope to see you again. Thanks.